Thank you for Damian. I'm having this uh, talk. Uh, it's my real great pleasure. <clears throat> so, uh, let me begin with uh, motivation. Up into the right So, <clears throat> first, the well known language injection. So, XK, a variety, algebraic variety, defined over number three. K. So, after embedding K into C, if a support XC is uh, <coughs> Kobayashi in, in this uh, <coughs> talk, or hyperplasticity is always Kobayashi. Hyperbolic. Then this should imply the number of k rational points in x should be <coughs> finite. Uh, the second point I'd like to explain is uh, in my talk, abelian varieties or semi abelian appears quite often, so why? So <clears throat> here, there is a classical theorem or else. So <clears throat> let F be a entire curve from C into Pn minus N plus two hyper range in general position. Then image of C is contained in linear Pn minus one inside the Pn. This is a degeneration, linear degeneration. On the other hand, we know uh, <clears throat> Prof. Ochia. This paper appeared in 1926, and this is 77. But <clears throat> they, they take a complex algebraic variety with irregularity is at least the dimension. So I suppose this is dimension n, then n plus one, more than strictly bigger than the dimension. Then <clears throat> frame is a n f from C into B. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> image, the risk closure of the image does not <clears throat> coincide B. So it is a non dialectic dense inside the thing. So to unify to <laughs> stay on. I <clears throat> noticed that uh, when I heard this theorem from Ochi, I was very convinced that it has 
very close relation to Borel's theorem. And uh, it was uh, maybe for people working with singularity, know the name Kyoji Saito. Uh, he gave a lecture using uh, his uh, logarithmic vector fields and logarithmic forms to, uh, to analyze uh, singularity. And uh, I hinted from his <laughs> talk to introduce uh, uh, <coughs> Green. Uh, logarithm differential. Oh. So, in terms of this uh, Green logarithmic one-forms, then both theorems are stated as follows. So, uh, so logarithmic one-form. So, <coughs> let A, B, uh, B, now is a quasi projective algebraic. Okay. And uh, suppose it logarithmic, the dimension of logarithmic one form over B is dimension plus one at least. And F is a entire curve from C into D, then the dialectic closure of the image is strictly less than B, smaller than B. So, <clears throat> for our case, so after embedding the, the using n plus one forms, then Pn minus n plus two uh, <coughs> hyper plane the, into the uh, <coughs> B inside the, the star n plus one. So this is semi abelian variety, and this will be in this case because. <coughs> They are in general position, but it's not necessary to be in general position. <coughs> if this is uh, not uh, uh, in general, but uh, in, in this special case, this is now of general type in the logarithmic sense. Then, <coughs> the every f from c into b must be algebraically degenerate. So this is the <coughs> statement by same as the prof. Ochia. So equivalently, assuming A, then abelian, <coughs> and uh, uh, F is a uh, higher power of C into A, then <coughs> the statistical closure of the image is uh, the type F0 plus B. <coughs> so B is a subgroup. Algebraic subgroup. So this is uh, always false, and this unified to theorem. <clears throat> so I call this type group coset. Group coset. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, in this, in the proof, uh, as we worked on the uh, Yamanoid paper, the Lemon logarithmic derivative, or <coughs> the 
トトロジカルイネコリティプレイズエッセンシャルロールインザプルール。ああ、レッティミーステイトズグレンマウス。It holds quite a general improvement in 77. Oh, in this case, M is just compact, complex, manifold. So, no algebraic assumption. And <coughs> take D inside M, some divisor, and take F, an omega, is the one form over M. With logarithmic singularity on D. Uh, uh, sorry. Omega 1 and on D. Such that there are some requirements. The omega is 0, so it is, must be decrossed. And the residue uh, around on this. <coughs> Has always <laughs> integral. I require this. This is essentially the divisor with weighted uh, with weight on the irreducible component of D. So the quotient must be integral. This is a requirement. And F is a map from C to M such that. Image should not include it in B and put F star omega for theta Z DT. So this is a question of the product on C. Then, oh. Then The conclusion is I write MR zeta is the average of the factor <coughs>、uh, of R log plus, so it's、uh, zeta and B theta. This is O log of TFR. The order function plus O root R with exceptional interval. So, this is the statement. So, in this, at this point, we do not necessarily to assume any algebraic assumption for this. <clears throat> And this omega, if it has no pole, then it can be t infinite. One, say, one zero form. Still, this hold. Estimate the hold. And this is equivalent in another formulation, the tautological. Inequality. So, So, why this kind of thing s works in the one value distribution to prove, say, Picard theorem? Let me explain the idea shortly. So, first, the Picard case. So, Take F、uh, map.、Uh, so, this is a case x equal P1 minus three points. So, zero, one, infinite. And F is a map from C to X. And、uh, assuming this is non constant, we want to deduce contradiction. 
Okay. So <coughs> consider Z for F minus one. F. This is another entire function because of this omitting <coughs> property. Then uh, in general, the we define the order function TFR. <coughs> this is uh, in for the convenience sometimes like TRF. And uh, this has certain invariance property such that TR uh, <coughs> A plus B uh, over C plus D plus or as far as uh, AD, so by linear <coughs> fractional transformation, it doesn't change very much. Now, <coughs> so look at this entire function, then this G can be written as a prime. So this is the logarithmic form, the pullback of the one form over on the image, and the other is uh, f minus one over f prime, and it's inverse. So this is the ratio of two logarithmic forms. <coughs> then we write this part, zeta one, and this part, zeta two, as a quotient minus one. So we have to see the TR equal PR <coughs> theta one over theta two, and by this uh, property of order function, this is uh, easy to estimate from above by the R theta 2. Then, <clears throat> this is uh, by this estimate, this is a uh, small o of TFR with uh, some x vector interval, but this is the same as TFR modulo O1. So it, this part doesn't matter. So this is a contradiction. This is a case of uh, Picard. So what happens in the so, uh, OTI theorem? So it is a case in dimension one, the genus X, say, <coughs> compact Riemann surface with the genus is at least two. So there is a uh, two holomorphic differential. Then <clears throat> you take the iteration. This is a rational function, transcendental. So the generator of the trans, trans this forms the uh, transcendental base of the rational function. So she, uh, <laughs> Now, to back, suppose there is a map from C to X, non trivial, non constant, then you can prove back. Then, theta 1 is Z, theta 2 is Z. So the, they belong to the same home, so we take out. Then we carry the same calculation. So this implies contradiction. So in, in higher dimension, the <coughs> one derivative is not sufficient to get such things, relation. So we need to go up uh, uh, <coughs> rational function. So we first consider rational function on the base space, say, in D. 
and take the full bar. And <coughs> we consider as this, we consider the full bar of <coughs> a higher jet differential on <coughs> so JKB jet space. Yeah. And <coughs> to find the algebraic relation between them. And if this element is algebraic over this space, over the field <coughs> generated by this pullback, then we have some degeneration. So, so to find algebraic relation. And if there is algebraic relation, <coughs> then this uh, implies the degeneration of F, and uh, this is uh, really equivalent to the mind. Uh, <coughs> how to say, vanishing. So, <coughs> in, in K, um, <coughs> Jet in four m and k and jet space k, you some ample will be minus or big, big or ample. And this part gives the <coughs> transcendental base of the Hankin field on variety B. And the negativity gives the estimate. And in this uh, relation, it, that estimate follows from algebraic relation. So this uh, the idea in the background is the same. So these are the structure behind the proof theorem. So with, with this in mind, I'd like to discuss the uh, <coughs> first, the Grauer, Manning Grauer's theorem. This was proved uh, by Bunny in 1960s, in the middle of the 60s. And uh, at all the graduate later, later, bit later, gave another proof. Uh, <coughs> it is stated uh, as follows. So we consider R is a ribbon surface, <coughs> and uh, X is the family of ribbon surface. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> fast. And the genus of XT is at least two. And uh, non trivial, non really moving, non trivial. I mean, no isotrivial. Okay. <laughs> Modular is really moving. Then you consider the section, homomorphic section, or rational section. And we denote the <coughs> gamma is the set of rational section. In this, and <clears throat> and the, the uh, statement is this is finite. So, <clears throat> so 
Sejranko, uh, according to the Sejranko Diksha, we should consider the <coughs> such a case that uh, dimension xt is general and xt is hyperbolic. So, what we should do, we should conclude. So, if the existence of infinitely many sections should imply subfamily, which is constant, <coughs> which is which is free, that should be the uh, statement. And uh, in fact, the theorem. The, if uh, this in this with this plus the <coughs> the number the gamma is infinite, then <coughs> then there is a subfamily. Over Watch that. Uh, why is isomorphic to R times some special fiber YT? And the section here over R and section sigma, these sections are all constant. The horizontal. <clears throat> but uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, <clears throat> in one terminal case, this proof uh, works, but uh, in general, I could not prove this in complete way. I needed uh, one more condition. So that is a boundary condition. A boundary condition. So what is this? <coughs> so this family may contain the singular fiber. So at certain point, the O reference point, it may split or cusp over zero. So this part has zones, but may have singular high fiber. So I needed a condition such that if we take, so there is some small punctured neighborhood U star and uh, <coughs> The, if you take two points, P and Q, then we have to distinguish this P and Q from outside. So the distance, if we take small neighborhood here, then measure the distance two points from outside. So let me write it in this way. So the strict X over U star. So this part on the open part and take the end distance on PC. And it must be positive. So we can distinguish the boundary from inside. Then we can occlude this. So why? If you <coughs> take uh, <coughs> take a section sigma to R to X and the two point P and P prime, then 
3x sigma t sigma t prime is bounded by the hyperbolic distance of r of t and t prime. So equicontinuous. So this implies the volume of section is bounded by the volume of R. So this is the Euler character of the downstairs. So this is uh, anyway uniform bound for section. So by body, the moduli gamma must be a uh, compact, complex space. So if you have <coughs> infinitely many sections, then there is a component gamma naught inside gamma irreducible component with positive dimension. Right? Then the uh, <clears throat> then we consider gamma naught times R and evaluation map sigma t sigma is point sigma and t is point inside x and the image x is x prime and inside ah maybe better to say it is <coughs> Why? Yeah. Then here <coughs> you take R and uh, take point T and some vector, tangent vector in T in TTR. Okay. Then <coughs> you can Push forward by sigma to the d sigma star d. So this is the <coughs> tangent space of the horizontal direction. Ah, oh, sorry, no, no, xt inside xt. Okay. So, but in this case, it is the image is y, so this is, must be y t. Yeah. And uh, this gamma node is compact, and this is a, a Stein space, the correspondence between Stein vector space. So, there are at most finitely many vectors. Uh, so, taking average, you have uh, horizontal vector. This is a lift, holomorphic, holomorphic lift. So, in, <clears throat> so this means <clears throat> at every point you can associate some vector field that <laughs> is a lift of B. And this gives infinitesimal triviality of this vibration. And actually it gives the isotriviality, local of y over r. <clears throat> then, uh, then I denote this is high. We have a map from gamma node to Y special fiber T node. Okay. <clears throat> oh. By T. Moving. So this is locally. Uh, <laughs> y is, uh, so T is moving from neighborhood of U of T node. And uh, uh, 
this y matrix over u is <coughs> q minus uh, y p naught. So we take out this only this part. This is it. So we <coughs> want to claim that this is constant in t. And <coughs> there was uh, another conjecture due to the uh, run. So this is a projection. Projection. The another conjecture is such that the <coughs> theorem uh, <coughs> that is like another conjecture that's myself uh, 92. The y, assume is y is compact complex space. <coughs> And the Kobayashi hyperbolic. Uh, take uh, another T compact complex space. Then consider the set of meromorphic map from Z onto Y. But it must be subjective. The number must be finite. So, since this is only finite many, this must be constant in T. All fiction in Kamba zero are <coughs> constant. So, <coughs> oh, in this proof, There is no algebraic condition. But after assuming this is infinite, we can choose some algebraic sub variety, subspace inside Y. That is, <coughs> uh, uh, in fact, a complex project variety. And at that stage, I use it. In the proof, the Miyaoka Mori uh, <clears throat> with uh, positive characteristic argument to conclude a rational curve P1 inside X. Uh, y, sorry, inside Y. So this is a contradiction. This is the final. So the <coughs> problem, question. Uh, so far, this is inevitable. I cannot avoid <laughs> to use this uh, algebraic uh, theorem. So question, first one is uh, find a Proof without Miyaoka Mori. Mm. <clears throat> and uh, as a remark, if Y is of General type, the method is more uh, easier. 
so that the uh, uh, this is due to finiteness is due to uh, uh, Kobayashi and Ocean. They prove the area. So, <clears throat> so the second question I have in mind for a long time is are there no algebraic compact hyperbolic <coughs> complex space? So far, no method to produce no algebraic variety involves grower. And the, that part, uh, uh, from that reason, uh, they are not uh, hyperbolic. So, and uh, the third question is, uh, Or remove the boundary condition so <clears throat> here you have outside here and the boundary <coughs> this part is the boundary and out of here there is a estimate this one. So if one can apply maximum principle for that distance, then it should be taken on the boundary so that it gives the estimate inside the circle disk. But uh, that is uh, <coughs> in general not true. So, uh, but uh, in some case, there is a uh, a way, some way, to uh, <coughs> remove this condition. So there is uh, some date uh, preprint to, to C and U1 archive 23 last year. They consider a million, <coughs> family of abelian variety. And X is a family of R with finite morphism. Then <coughs> they think the finiteness of the section of this part. So they want to bound the <coughs> the height, uh, <coughs> data height of the composite map of the sigma using without boundary condition. Just take some u and say suppose the x t is hyperbolic or take out some exceptional set and we require sigma <clears throat> take that outside of the exceptional value then we can <clears throat> make the similar argument but anyway for simplicity i assume xt is hyperbolic over u then <clears throat> Then the volume of sigma u is bounded by the hyperbolicity inside the <coughs> x over u is the volume of u, it's a disk. So anyway, this is bounded uniformly, uh, <coughs> independently of the section choice of sigma. So they use from his 
tam kaynatma sistemi. But this is the scheme, and uh, I <coughs> don't yet really got into the details in the in the proof. But that is uh, that's a some <coughs> approach to avoid this boundary condition. So they called this uh, local height. Uh, the naming is uh, mm, I'm not sure if it is good or not, but so just restrict to the good part and you get some boundary. <laughs> so this is their idea to avoid the use of this boundary condition. <coughs> boundary condition. So uh, another question in this uh, uh, <coughs> pro approach uh, topics is question Is there the number of irreducible component of for in gamma? So for my by my theorem. If you take one component with the positive engine, then it is essentially one family, constant family. So it is uh, interesting to count the number of such sub family contained in X. Um, <clears throat> the impact even for curve case. It's not trivial to how to bound the number. And uh, <clears throat> the spirit of uh, Langer's conjecture on the finiteness of rational point over hyperbolic. Are the variety? Now, Damian and uh, many others successfully constructed the family of uh, uh, projective hypersurface. So, my question from point five. So, take X. Inside R times Vn. And Xt is hyperbolic, hyper, uh, hypersurface. <coughs> now we can <coughs> assume that uh, there is some. Let it be open such that X of R prime is really hyperbolic. But the boundary, it may degenerate. Then <clears throat> the question is that the section space comma R to X is well. Not really finite, but uh, <coughs> so the, <coughs> then my theorem uh, the, then what is and conjecture over function T. So that is the statement I <coughs> wrote in the list part one. So if it has an infinite remaining section, then the family should contain constant family and 
the sections are constant in that space. This should be subway to deal with with that condition, boundary condition. So <clears throat> the second topic I like to discuss is and manhole. This is uh, called conjecture, but uh, all they proved by Reynaud, Michel Reynaud, the theorem. So originally, it is a curve defined over number field K, a curve, and the genus of C is at this <coughs> Then you embed C into Jacobian C. Then take the torsion point. Torsion. So torsion point is a point inside C such that there is some integer new. Uh, new times X is zero in this Jacobian variety. And this should be finite. So instead of rational point, here, torsion points are considered. So the <coughs> defining field of the torsion point increases as the torsion order increases. At the, <coughs> it is the torsion point. And uh, actually, Michel Renault and uh, more theorems. Take x inside abelian variety. Uh, these are defined over k, number few, some number few. Then <coughs> take its fortune point and take the risk equation. Then they are the finite union of Pj plus Pj. So this is finite. So, so this is algebra. Subgroup. <coughs> and this is the torsion point. So finite. I, we, I say finite coset type. Well, group coset. This is the step. So taking especially one dimensional case, it should be finitely many. So <coughs> this is a very wonderful, beautiful theorem. And uh, the many people uh, so maybe better to take over. I No, the <laughs> many people, uh, many, many people. A Hrushov Hindri, Hrushov C. Etc. And uh, I found in a paper, Pira Daniye, there is a relation to Picard's theorem. There is a part in their proof 
Oh, I can fly. Pick up pickle theory. So it is this. So first, uh, <coughs> consider the exponential map from the uh, CN. So this is the DA of the bar, I think, L. And actually, I can work this for semi-abelian case. And take the inside check podium point, size speaker. Then we have Z, it's a full bar, right? Podium. Then by the theory of own minimal, order minimal. This is uh, uh, our concept in real analytic geometry, but uh, in the logic. <coughs> Sorry, I don't have time to explain this, but this is uh, essentially some subfamily, our set algebra in all Rn, n varies from one to infinite, zero to infinite. And the structure are compatible to the projection and uh, the uh, intersection and the toseta. Uh, that is a quite elementary notion. But using this, this Z to compose the algebraic part plus the transcendental part. And this, the algebraic part holds so because it is a union of the <coughs> The union of T inside D affine algebra and positive dimensional. So we don't know how many, maybe of course uncountably many D, D, but it has this structure. And for this part, uh, there is a height estimation. And uh, uh, this is more algebraic uh, uh, proof so that this implies finite measure. So we are concerned only this here, right here. So P is a uh, affine variety. And uh, uh, then we can compactify it at infinite. Then the exponential map restricted over B to A has essential singularity on H infinite intersection of the so, Therefore, the image of B taking the risk closure must be a group of <coughs> This is the big pickle theorem. Five group, big pickle is already 81. So, so this is sufficient plus some other structure theorem. So this is done. You have only finitely many such as this. So we have two minutes. There is a, this is a, in the Homer Manning Manfor Gravel theorem, the analogy is formal in the statement. But in this uh, uh, theorem, the involvement of Nevalina theory is not formal, really inside the proof we can work. So the problem is more, <laughs> more by, more by Nevalina theory. 
Pras o minimal. Det är så det vi må. So this is the I have a plan to talk about uh, axis channels or uh, but uh, I maybe I consume the day. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. then maybe ten minutes, five or ten minutes. It is uh, next is Ax Channel. I <coughs> want to discuss. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, uh, motivated by some transcendency of special numbers, say p and pi uh, are very, very independent over q. This is uh, Okay, so there's, I agree that some, uh, there is some uh, who do not care these things, <laughs> this kind of thing. <laughs> but, uh, uh, <coughs> really, almost folklore. <laughs> and uh, Chanel generalizes the conjecture more geometric way. So take alpha one. Alpha n complex number p, but linearly independent over q. So this is quite similar to Borel's server. Then he require that transcendental degree over q of the number alpha one to alpha n, e to the alpha one to e to the alpha n should be at least n. So already n equal two, take alpha one equal one, alpha two equal pi i, then transcendental degree okay. over q, of uh, one pi i and uh, e and uh, e pi i, this is minus one. So this should be two. So it's the algebraic independent. Algebraic independent. Ah, this is a hard conjecture. Ah, uh, so far, no proof. But whatever. Ax proof, 72, around 72, is a formal function analog. Take FJT with the formal power series from 1 to N, and uh, <coughs> such that FJT minus F to zero is uh, linearly independent over Q. Then transcendental degree over C of E to the F one, oh, sorry, F one to F N, E to the F one to the E to the F N. So involving T as a uh, transcendental uh, <coughs> variable, so this should be N plus one. And <coughs> then uh, there is a similar formulation 
from C to so <clears throat> how to say formulate this as follows. X is the vector of F1 to F1 and E to the F1 to E to the F1, right? And the in two n vector. And this power is valued in P P bar n. And this is in P bar n. Or in vector taking values in algebraic group in A. And <coughs> this condition is equivalent to say that. So I write this is a uh, <coughs> and uh, this, uh, how to say? Mm, uh, <coughs> So, e to the F1 to the e to the F1 is not group process. So, they are dependent, then multiplicatively, they must be contained in smaller group, half group. So, uh, it, this condition prohibits that condition. So. So there is some not generality of F hat. So after projecting positive linear in times A, I write F hat and project A. So now this is not degenerate in that sense. This is the condition. So I formulate this theorem, uh, this theorem in uh, for entire cup. So we are uh, first given from C to D A. A is semi abelian entire. A is now semi abelian And take F hat is the <coughs> C to F and exponential. F. So this is valued in A hat. So this condition is the same to claim that the uh, dimension of exponential, so I hat, exponential hat is uh, from uh, Lie to this space. <laughs> this is exponential hat I like. Okay. Um, compose with F hat. And C. Take the risk equation. It's at least n plus one. This we can prove. <clears throat> and uh, the, there are also y f part. The there is theorem. Uh, y f part. <laughs> we have second main. As quite similar to the case of semi abelian variety. So, but so far, no application. <laughs> so, I like the so question <laughs> in 3.1 Is there any connection, combination? Combination is or minimal. To arithmetic, in view of arithmetic, 
problem. As in the case of uh, uh, money manhood, this is uh, really I like to know. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. And so, and so the hypothesis is that uh, the single fiber is a hyperbolic. Yes. The single fiber don't have any. Uh, yes. And also, the in the case of a hyperbolic uh, hyper surface surface case, even if uh, it is not geometrically degenerate, hyperbolic symmetric. The public may, may degenerate, like the center is the firma, then it degenerates. So we, uh, it uh, degeneration can happen not only for the geometric uh, structure of the fiber, but also for the metric itself. So we have to go both to handle, to deal with the both problem. That is, uh, I don't know how to that. <laughs> but that condition is, automatic if the fiber is dimension one uh, actually it is if we take the compactation by stable curves by manifold then it is automatically satisfied so boundary condition so uh, in the one dimensional case there is no condition uh, such that the boundary condition but uh, uh, <clears throat> i don't know the uh, in the paper of uh, Siu and Yuan, they <coughs> formed the uh, norm uh, on the partial height, and uh, it is uh, quite clever to define the, because the, it is a matter of how to define norm on a finite dimensional topological vector space. So it, uh, once it is defined, then it is equivalent. So the abundance comes from that part, but uh, the, I, there are uh, some part I cannot follow yet in their paper. So I'm not sure if their work argument works for the theory completely, but uh, the idea is, I think, interesting to take a, without, in place of boundary condition, you introduce something geometrically natural, then we can go. And the uh, good possibility is the case of hyper surface, hyperbolic. <laughs> you construct it at all. Even if uh, the, the finiteness of rational point on such thing is, uh, if you find some one, only one, that uh, still hold for the finiteness for the rational point, hold for such one, that is great. And even if you find the counter example, <laughs> it should be more <laughs> very good. I tried to find the counter example. But after all, I, what I found is the singular X hypersurface that has that finiteness property of rank. So it is against my original wish. 